Am I in the wrong Ida for having my husband drive me back to shore when I wasn't allowed to fish? I 32F rented a boat two weeks ago to go fishing. My husband suggested we celebrate his birthday at the same time, which is coming right up, because he loves boating. I had no problem with it but the whole rental was originally so I could fish. He invited our mutual friend Greg along, which was no big deal. But it soon turned into Greg driving everywhere and telling us to relax and have a few beers. He refused to sit in one spot for more than 10 to 15 minutes so I wasn't able to fish at all. Every time I would have a line out for more than 5 minutes he would ask if we were ready to move on to the next spot. At one point even bringing us to a crowded sand bar beach where I obviously wasn't able to fish. Roughly 3 hours and I asked if they could stop driving around so I could do some fishing and he immediately stopped the boat, no questions asked. But it got really awkward after that. Greg making comments about how he wished he liked to fish so he could understand the hype of sitting in one single spot while on a boat because he can't stand it. Heavy sighing and pacing the boat, etc. I know for a fact he wasn't trying to be a whiner, he truly just couldn't stand sitting in one spot so that I could fish. So my husband at this point was getting uncomfortable with how awkward Greg was unintentionally making things and said well babe, are you about ready to move to the next spot? At this point I just asked them to bring me back to shore. Both of them started protesting and apologizing saying it was fine and we could stay there longer but at this point I was so over the entire trip because I didn't get to fish more than 25 minutes at this point. They bring me back to shore, still apologizing and Greg saying he was sorry for ruining my fishing trip and I just said it was fine and walked off to my car without saying another word to them. Well, after my husband got home he was really quiet and when I asked why, he said that it was a bummer that I chose to leave instead of just enjoying the boat for what it was. He said he understands my frustrations but he couldn't understand why I took it to a level of ruining my entire day and leaving him on the boat that was meant for us. Greg paid me half of the cost I spent to make up for it too so now I'm wondering if I'm really in the wrong considering the whole point of me getting the boat was to go fishing. Ida? Ada, both Greg and my husband knew I rented the boat to fish. My husband even brought his fishing pole but didn't end up using it. Dot.